Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan, and this is an acorn squash in case you've never seen one. Right, this is a kind of a funny looking little squash, kind of looks like a little pumpkin, doesn't it buddy? Yeah. But it's super awesome, loaded in antioxidants, B1, B6, magnesium, it's got carotenoids. And you which, think, why would you eat a pumpkin? But we're going to tell you. Yeah, well, anything that has that orange squash look about it has very, very, very high in some vitamin C, carotenoids, uh, antioxidants, very, very, very healthy stuff. And it tastes like a sweet potato, too. Kind of like a sweet potato more so than squash, kind of like a pumpkin sweet potato. Really awesome. We're going to cut them in half. We're going to stuff them. And we got some frozen lentils from Trader Joe's that we're going to use to stuff them with. Trader Joe's organic quinoa. And some frozen quinoa. We're going to mix the quinoa and lentils mixed together, make it really easy. We're going to cook the acorn squash first. And don't forget, one of the most awesome parts about acorn squash is the acorn squash seeds. They're just like pumpkin seeds, except in our opinion, even better, right? Yeah. They, we like them even better. We're going to show you how to do that too. Crunchy. All right, guys. One of the things you got to remember about any corn, any kind of winter squash or fall squashes, they are hard. So get a good knife, lots of teeth. You're gonna have to actually almost like saw through this thing. It's not gonna be easy. <laughs> we're gonna open four of these. It's gonna give us eight halves. And then we're gonna take out all the seeds, wash them, set them aside, cook them later for some kind of dessert. And then you're gonna have this nice little awesome cup and you could fill that inside. All right, so here's what we did. We took about a half a tablespoon of flaxseed oil and just dumped it into each one of these wells. Uh, the reason that we did that is because they do have a tendency to maybe dry out a little bit, so you just want to put a little oil. A lot of times people use butter or brown sugar, syrupy, all kind of things like that. Flaxseed oil is really, really good, very high in omega-3 fats, so we use it when we cook a lot. Um, we, we only cook for about 350, 375 degrees. It is stable up to about 4, 425, so it won't break down or lose any of its omega-3 properties. So you can use it as long as you're cooking like that. And we don't have a brush, so basically what we're doing is we're just kind of, we poured them in a little well here, and we're just kind of smoothing it around and bringing it up top and just kind of putting it along the top layer here. And we're just going to kind of do that. And what that's going to do is that's just going to kind of, good. yeah, it's going to keep a little bit of a coating there. And oh, look at that, the oven's done. And then we're going to fill it. While these are cooking, we're going to take the, these are just frozen, um, this is a great lentil mixture, green garbanzo beans, red and green lentils, little bit of olive oil and tomatoes. Really, it's pretty much just lentils. Very low in sodium, even though it's pre-made. This entire package only has 700 milligrams of sodium in it. So we're going to split this eight ways. Probably only going to use one package and then mix it with a bunch of quinoa. Maybe put some pepper, some other seasonings in here, whatever you want. And then we're just going to shove it after these cook. We're going to shove it a big mound in here. And then we're gonna put it back in the oven for a little bit. And then that's it. They're gonna be really, really awesome. Okay, so while those are cooking, those are gonna go for like 45 minutes to an hour, depending on when they feel really tender. We, gotta, we go for about uh, 350, 375 degrees for about an hour. I like it to be nice and tender. So we're gonna make the stuffing stuff. And again, you can use an Instant Pot. We have an Instant Pot, we use it all the time. You can make your quinoa, you can make your lentils, you can make rice, whatever you wanna put in them. As far as the seeds go, we're just gonna rinse these out, just like you would pumpkin seeds, take all the garbage out of there. And uh, as you can see, they're just like pumpkin seeds. They're just a little bit smaller. We're just gonna throw those on a stone like this. And we're gonna leave it on the same degrees. When everything else is done cooking, we're just gonna leave the oven on, throw it in there, and it'll just be 20, 30 minutes or so, same heat. But uh, just wait until they get kind of brown. We don't put anything on those at all. They're actually really good, just plain. Yeah, just cleaning up the seeds. Just like pumpkin seeds or anything like that. They feel really weird. <laughs> kind of slimy. Take all the pulp and stuff out here. We're going to rinse them out real good. And then we're just going to lay them over here on a towel. Let them dry a little bit. And then pop them on the old uh, stones and let them cook. They're very, very good. Very, very healthy. They're so good. They're much better than pumpkin seeds. You don't even have to put salt or anything on them at all. All right, so now we got our mixture. And again, you can use anything you want. We're using lentils because they're super healthy. They're high in protein and fiber. They're really good. They're really good. Um, we're using a frozen mix. Again, you could use any kind you want. Quinoa, you could use rice. You could use amaranth. You could use any kind of grain you want. If you want to go gluten-free or whatever, you could use wheat berries, whatever you want. We're doing quinoa and lentils. We like this mixture. It's really easy. We're going to throw in some pepper. Not a ton. As much as you want, really. Just shake it around on there. Give it a few shakes. You can't have too much pepper. Shake it, shake, shake. That's right. 
and then you're just gonna mix that in. Now, also, that does come with a little garlic, but we're gonna add some more. We love our garlic. I love garlic. Yeah, we're gonna put in it smells really good. Uh, about, that's about a tablespoon or two. Remember, this is being divided into like eight things. I'll put about another one, about three. You can never have too much garlic, buddy, right? Yeah, it's gonna be mixed together too. So. Right, we're gonna mix that all up, and then basically this is just gonna be sitting here waiting. Can we taste tester it? Yes, you can. Let me mix it up a little more and take the camera, and then you can taste it, and you can let us know how that filling is gonna taste. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Just take this little spoon here. Okay. A little taste of that. Mmm, that's good. Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah. So yeah, again, that's that's just pre-made, but uh, mm. you can make your own, but it's just kind of easy this way. Uh, very inexpensive too, and these guys are going along pretty well. You can see that uh, they're starting to look pretty good. They got about halfway through, they're gonna go a little more. They turn uh, from like a dark green to black. Yeah, they look delicious, don't they? Yeah. So you'll notice there's almost like a little bit of a syrup in there, yeah. inside, and you really wanna be able to poke them <laughs> and have it nice and soft. So as you can see, this fork's going right into there very, very easily. That means they're really done. It's like a sweet potato. Just like a sweet potato. It's going to taste a little different, but very similar. So now we're just going to put the stuffing in there, and we're going to fill them up, and then we're going to put them back in for about eh, 10 or 15 more minutes, and then we'll try them out. Boy, it smells good. It definitely has a, a really awesome taste. And again, you stars. Can, yeah, really cool. Again, you can put anything you want in these, but... That's what we would decide to put in them. I'm, I'm gonna have that one. You could put meat, you could put tofu, you could put Beyond Beef, any of that kind of stuff. Um, you could put more squash in there. But of course, these are gonna be much healthier. Yeah. Um, we're gonna take our seeds, we're gonna go ahead and put those in there. So while we're eating, the seeds are gonna be cooking. And then we we'll, could probably have them later tonight as a snack or something. Again, they're gonna be a little bit different than regular pumpkin seeds or anything. They're gonna be, they're gonna be a little bit uh, like uh, more peanutty tasting and uh, you really don't have to put anything on them. A little crispier and I do cook them very well done. So uh, you can put them in trail mix, you could put them in, you know, whatever. You'll like them a lot, they're awesome. So what do you guys think, man? First time having acorn squash. Oh. Pretty good. Pretty good? Tastes like, sweet, tastes like potato. sweet potato. Kind of like sweet potato, right? A little bit like a pumpkin. Yeah. So there they are. So you scoop it out and uh, enjoy it and then our seeds are cooking, and then when we're done, we'll take the seeds out. And of course, Lacey's very excited to try it, aren't you, buddy? All right, so we're sitting here eating, and we got the gabbing and talking and stuff. And these were coming out real good, and they start popping. Pop and pop. Yeah, so if you hear them start popping, that's too long. Um, as you can see, we like to put them on a stone so they get nice and toasty on the bottom. These are nice and brown. These are going to be awesome. If you start to hear them pop, you can see this one right here. See that one, how you can see the bottom of it? So that one exploded. So if you start hearing a pop or explode, obviously, Black too. yeah, obviously it's time to take them out. So we'll check those back. They're gonna be really, really good. These guys have never had um, acorn squash seeds, and I told them I guarantee you're gonna like them better than pumpkin seeds. They're really awesome. You didn't put nothing on them at all. So we're gonna try those too. See if they're not too hot. I'm gonna try a couple of them. Try a couple, man. Yeah. Mm, pretty good, huh? Yeah, pretty good. Kind of a little bit peanutty tasting, a little bit different than a pumpkin seed. Yeah. Kind of like a sunflower seed or pumpkin seed mixture. Pretty cool, huh, kiddo? Yes, it tastes like popcorn. Yeah, kind of like a popcorn taste, kind of yeah, like a corn popcorn. taste, yeah. A very unique taste, very cool. Check them out if you've never had them, they're awesome. So make sure you subscribe to uh, see future videos. Wellness Wednesdays, every Wednesday we do workouts, we do... Um, recipes we go out to places show people good options they can have and uh, hit the bell for future notifications, notifications right see you guys next time bye, -bye.